Hello everyone, back to you today's first video, doing the January 2018 monthly forecast for today's uh, first video. Later on today, we'll have a look at the weather for next week's 10 days. So we'll have a review of uh, December's uh, forecast, for the forecast that we issued a month ago for December 2017. And uh, then at the end, we'll have a sneak peek for February. And of course, we'll do the January 2018 uh, monthly forecast as well. You may have noticed that I'm using a new uh, webcam uh, today, so I thought it was time to uh, get rid of the old Microsoft uh, webcam that I've been using for several years and uh, try out a new uh, webcam. I'll get to grips with it. Hope the recording uh, goes okay using uh, this webcam. And uh, we'll see how we get on with it. It's going to be a bit of a change uh, compared to what we've had over the... Really, since I started doing videos, actually, I've had the same uh, webcam uh, pretty much since 2012 when I started the video. So it's quite a big change uh, for the videos. Hope it uh, goes okay. So uh, the December forecast uh, was for a slightly calm and average month. And uh, precipitation coming out near normal. Actually, that didn't quite work out as planned uh, because we came out in the end sort of average uh, with the temperatures. So uh, we gained very close having a cold and average month, actually. Uh, it's just a, we had a run of quite a few warm days um, in the sort of last uh, sort of 10 days or so of the month. So just before Christmas, we had around five days of very mild weather. And then again, just before the new year, we had uh, a couple of days of very mild weather. And that was enough to prevent in the CET region, anyway, I haven't got the UK wide figures in yet, actually, but in the CET region, that was enough to prevent us from getting a cold and average month. Nevertheless, we predicted that uh, we probably have our coldest summer since 2010. That came uh, pretty close. Uh, we also predicted that we get regular northerly shots and there'd be probably more snow than we've had in December for quite a while as well. All that came to pass, so I don't think the December month end forecast was too bad. Uh, it wasn't perfect by any means, but I think overall we got the broad trends correct, just perhaps wasn't quite as cold as we expected, but it certainly did contain some pretty cold weather, including two or three uh, really quite substantial snow events. So, uh, that's how December uh, pa uh, panned out. It came out with CT of uh, 4.8 degrees, which um, just ever so slightly milder than average. Basically, it was average with the uh, CT. As I say, we haven't yet got the UK wide figures in. When we get those in, uh, I will uh, bring you those, of course. So, um, getting on with the uh, January forecast, though, let's begin by having a look at CFS V2 700 millibar height anomaly for January uh, 2018. So blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, and red is extrapolated to above average heights, which is uh, high pressure. So this is how uh, CFS V2 is predicting uh, 700 millibar height on before January. It's predicting low pressure to be up to the north and to the northwest as well, and then high pressure to be uh, down to the south and it wants to take jetstream through like that. So it's predicting a very, very unsettled month with a bit of an Atlantic onslaught. That will be stormy and expect bouts of heavy rain coming in with that. Severe gales will be coming in with that as well and a lot of mobility in the Atlantic. Also, there could be some cooler conditions, not a cold signal really, but there could be some cooler conditions because the air is actually coming from the northern part of the Atlantic and around Greenland, sort of that area. So at times you would be able to entrench some colder air into these areas of low pressure. But essentially it's just going for an Atlantic onslaught, very wet, windy and stormy. So that's the temperature anomaly that it's seen for the UK and Europe for uh, January 2018 going for an exceptionally mild month across many parts of uh, Europe. The British Isles is coming out significantly milder than average as well. The greatest uh, anomalies to average are actually over on the eastern side of Europe, where, uh, have a look at the scale, we're going sort of four degrees or more above average over here in the east of Europe. In the UK, uh, our uh, temperature anomaly is around half a degree to one degree warmer than average. So they go for a milder than average month, but not quite as ridiculously mild as it's got for many central and eastern parts of uh, Europe. 
The precipitation, well, it's going for a substantially wetter than average month as well, not just for the UK and Ireland, but for many northern and western parts of Europe too. You notice drier than average conditions being predicted through much of southern Europe, so um, coming away with a dry January there, but further north, it really is going for a very wet month. So mild, wet and windy is a prediction from the CFS uh, V2 for January. What about the Beijing Climate Centre? Well, these are the 500 mm heights broken down into 10 day periods. The first 10 day period taking us from the 1st through to the 10th of uh, January. We finally got below average heights over the UK. We're bringing the jet stream through like that. So it looks very unsettled for the first 10 days of uh, January. Probably some scope for getting some cooler conditions at times because the air could again be coming out of Greenland into that trough of low pressure. But essentially, it's just a wet and windy, potentially quite stormy first 10 days to the month. Then we go through to the next 10 days of January. This takes us from the 11th to the 20th. Still looking very, very unsettled indeed with the below average heights in the Atlantic. And we're doing something like that with the flow and with the jet stream as well. Perhaps not quite as stormy and unsettled as it is in the first 10 days, but still looks pretty unsettled, uh, really. The next 10 days looks like this. This takes us from the 21st of January through to the 30th. Still very unsettled. Blurbridge Heights are out to the west, still bringing the flow and jet stream through like that. So both of these models are in agreement, but we're going to have an Atlantic on, so we're going to have a very wet uh, January, very unsettled month indeed if these models are correct. That's how the overall 500 millibar height dummy looks from the Beige Club Centre for January 2017. It looks very unsettled indeed with low pressure dominating the weather and bringing the flow and the jet stream through uh, like that. Temperature anomalies uh, for January are coming out milder than average with the Beige Club Centre above average temperature anomalies. And you'll not be surprised to see that precipitation anomalies are coming out very significantly wetter than average as well, not just the UK but for many parts of Europe too. So these models really are going for a very, very unsettled and stormy uh, January indeed. Milder than average, wetter than average, and just an Atlantic consort really from beginning to end. Now I think they're going over top uh, with this signal, and I suspect it's going to finish up quite a lot colder than these models are predicting. I think at times they're not picking up on any form of northern blocking really then certainly not picking up on any sign of a scandinavian high but even as far uh, or as early as sort of the end of this week and the week this weekend we're going to get some cold weather and that could be quite notably colder as well there's something unique and quite mysterious about this winter uh, where these long-range models are seeing the overall unsettled pattern that we're having this winter. It is an unsettled winter. It's quite an Atlantic-driven winter. They are seeing that, but they're not seeing the subtleties. I've talked about this in a video last week. They aren't seeing the subtleties of the pattern, which is to sh be shifting the jet stream south uh, southwards, south of the UK, so placing us on the cold side of the jet at fairly regular intervals, and also to be lining the jet stream northwest to southeast through the Atlantic and into Europe. They aren't picking up on those subtleties. And so I think what's going on is that, yes, they're picking up that we're having an unsettled winter. It is an unsettled winter, but they aren't able, for some reason, it's uh, only it seems to apply to this winter. I've never really known it happen in past winters. They aren't able to pick up on the variations where we get colder conditions. I think we will continue to have colder conditions through um, this uh, January. So I would peg those temperature anomalies back a lot more than the Mars are showing. Not sure I'd necessarily go for a cold of an average month, but I think that is a possibility. But certainly average uh, temperature anomalies this January do seem quite likely. And uh, with above average precipitation, because it is an overall unsettled pattern. So we will continue to have spells of wet and windy at times, stormy weather through this January. Uh, and at times it will be mild. I would suspect that we'll have periods um, when it does turn really quite mild. But then, of course, we'll find that uh, the cold weather comes back. So it's on-off cold, similar to what we've had in December. The only difference is that it might be the cold 
might be um, more intense, I suppose, in January, especially if we start to set up a Scandinavian high. I am struggling a little bit to get this forecast together, I have to say, because what the long-range models are showing don't really go with my instincts about this uh, month at all. So, uh, yes, I think they have got it right, but we have the unsettled pattern. I think they have got it right, but we have the strong westerlies, potentially stormy and wet at times. But I think we'll have more colder conditions than these models are indicating. So we probably find mild and cold spells are setting one another, come out overall with an average uh, sort of temperature anomaly. It's not impossible if a high pressure should get itself together over Scandinavia and sustain itself for uh, several days. It's not impossible that we might come away actually with a colder than average month, but I wouldn't quite go uh, that far, but I, I think it will be a lot colder than these models are showing, and I think there'll be a lot more wintry potential in there as well than these models are showing, so expect further uh, bouts of snow at times, uh, albeit there will be rain uh, in there as well. So another really quite interesting month for um, January uh, with average temperatures, above average precipitation, there will be snow and there will be cold uh, conditions at times. Finally, just have a very quick uh, sneak peek at February. So this is how uh, February is shaping up with CFSV2. It just continues to go through its very uh, zonal Atlantic driven pattern. So we've got low pressure up to the north, deep trough of low pressure. We've got high pressure uh, that's down down to the south around there and we bring that jet stream through like that very unsettled uh and very mild and potentially at times quite stormy uh february i think we worry about that when we get to it because i'm not convinced at all that the cfs has the pattern right for january it perhaps has the overall broad themes for january correct but i suspect there's a lot of uh, subtleties within that pattern that the uh, cfs v2 and also you have to say beige climate change as well not picking up on so that's the January month head forecast done. We're going for average temperatures with above average precipitation and we expect the chance of more quite significant cold periods at times and also snow as well through the month. But there will be milder uh, periods also offsetting those cold, uh, those cold periods. Right, so that's the uh, January, January 2018 month head forecast done. Uh, we'll be back later on. Uh, with the uh, week to 10 day look ahead, that'll be on the homepage. Hopefully, uh, it's all gone okay with the uh, new webcam. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.